Hello, y'all. Welcome back. We are digging into part two of my daughter's room makeover. So if you missed the first part, this is kind of the before. I'll link the first part down below. You should definitely go watch that. It will help explain some things that I don't want to take the time to explain again in a second video. But this is the before. This is the room that my two teenage daughters share. They have a menagerie of animals in here. Basically, they wanted kind of a dark academia, vintage meets modern vibe. It's kind of hard to explain, but they kind of had a vision and so did I. So we just talked about it and I surprised them. They didn't know I was going to do this while they were gone. They knew that I was going to be doing this room makeover for them at some point. They trusted me to do it. They, they like my room makeovers. So I thought, all right, perfect. Well, I am going to surprise them while they're gone. They were gone for a week with my mom in London for my oldest daughter's 16th birthday trip. Yeah, I was totally jealous. <laughs> so while they were gone uh, traipsing around London, having the time of their lives, I was back here working my tail off, getting this room makeover done for them before they got home. As you can see, we started by adding some decorative molding on the walls. Um, I kind of had a vision in mind based off of a room I had seen online that I just really, really liked and felt like I wanted to pull in a lot of the elements. I started painting and I used a color called London Fog. It is an absolutely beautiful color. It is, again, if you don't get the white balance right and everything in camera, it can be kind of hard to tell, but it is like a chocolatey brown with, it kind of pulls a little bit plummy as well. So I felt like it was perfect for the look we were going for in here. And the next thing we were doing is laying down some life proof flooring. So before anybody freaks out, you know, these floors are beautiful. They are approaching 100 years old. Our house was built in 1930. These are original floors. There are two rooms in the house that have these original floors. It is their bedroom and our bedroom, which is directly beneath this one. I chose to cover their floors because, as I previously mentioned, they have a menagerie of animals. Uh, they have free ranging, roaming um, rabbits, and they both have a dog, they have birds, they have frogs and a lizard and all of these animals and I really wanted to protect the floors. At some point when kids move out and all of that kind of stuff, these floors, these life-proof floors can be pulled up. But it was more important to me to protect the integrity of the floors for the long term and uh, they are, they're pretty fragile. There's definitely some areas within this floor that would need to be replaced and things. So I didn't wanna invest the money in all of that repairing of the hardwood floors for it to potentially just, uh, I don't wanna say get ruined, but kids can be hard on floors, animals are hard on floors, we all know this, okay? So that's why I chose to go with the life proof flooring in here. Uh, I loved this light wood. I knew it would help to kind of lighten and brighten the floor area of the room and light wood just shows dirt and mess a lot less than darker floors do. This is also waterproof. You have to be careful when you look at vinyl or laminate floorings. They are not all created equal. I learned some really good lessons from the gentleman working at Home Depot when I was looking at different flooring options. And this one I love because it comes with the underlayment built in. It is very easy ish to install my husband and i were able to do this ourselves but it is really important that you pay attention to whether or not it is truly waterproof this basically tells you that you can let water stand on it for up to 24 hours and it stays waterproof through that it has a really good uh, durability rating that's why we chose to go with this flooring um, whenever i do projects like this everybody gets a peek at that old tramp stamp one of these days maybe i'll just have that thing removed uh, I don't love it in case you can't tell, but I always forget that it's there because, well, I don't look at my own back all that often. So I forget that it's there until I'm filming. And, you know, I mean, I guess it could be worse, right? It could be my plumber's crack hanging out. So hooray for tramp stamps. All right, let's move on. Um, yeah, so we are just replacing the flooring. The people who renovated this house before us in like the 80s, 90s, put down some pine flooring over the old flooring. So we have multiple flooring types within our house, such is the way of buying an older home, uh, especially a nearly hundred year old home. That's just, it's gonna be how it is. You're gonna have different kinds of flooring.
And then once we are done with the flooring, this took us a full day to, to do the flooring in here. Again, we're not flooring experts, so I'm certain that someone who does this all the time could have done this room in about an hour because we had our flooring done by professionals in our old house in our downstairs, and I nearly fell out seeing how fast they did it. I mean, they did like our entire downstairs in one day. So I'm sure they could have done this room much faster than we did, but we saved ourselves a lot of money by doing it ourselves. Okay, whoa. I was trying to focus on the lizard. Focus on your eggs, Bob. Focus on okay. your eggs. Uh, it's Sunday, the day that the girls come home. And as you can see, there's a lot still to finish. <laughs> Getting lots of help here. Uh, Ash is my assistant today, and we have to put all the trim around since the floor's been laid and do all of the, like, build the beds, curtains, um, ceiling fan. There's just a lot still left to do, and in some ways it feels like it might not happen by the time I have to pick them up at 9.30, but I think we can do it. I think we can do it, especially considering there's a lot of things I'm willing to just say, that can wait. <laughs> so done is better than perfect, right? Right, we're gonna get it done, maybe. Hi. The final push to try to get this room done. Uh, I'll be honest, this, this, the morning of this day, I was thinking, have we lost our minds? I'm not sure, maybe we have. Uh, but it was time to put on the baseboards to reinstall, well, not reinstall, because we got rid of the old ones, but we had to kind of build out a slightly thicker baseboard for reasons that we don't need to go into right now. So it required, you know, we kind of went and sort of, you know, designed our own look, if you will. So we had a piece of baseboard and then a piece of cord around over that. Now, again, I've gone back and forth about whether or not I wanted to paint all of the trim in the room to match this um, London fog color. The room inspiration that I got this color from, that's what they did. They literally went from floor and they actually painted their whole ceiling as well. I just, number one, knew that I wasn't gonna have time to do that. It was gonna require a whole lot more paint. And uh, as you can see, my initial plan was to paint the baseboards to match. And I do think eventually I will come back in and do that, paint these white baseboards to match because it's not like the baseboards match the floor. So in my mind, they need to match the wall. So I will probably come back and do that. And that's kind of gonna be a theme that you're about to hear from me is that, Basically, like I said before, done is better than perfect. And I knew I had to get this room done uh, mostly because, well, what kind of surprise would that be if they came home and I was like, ta-da, your room is a disaster and you have nowhere to sleep. That wouldn't be a very good surprise. So I knew I had to get their beds back up and all of that. But I also knew that there was still much left to do in here. It was lofty of me to think that on top of all the other things I have to do normally that I could get this whole room like 100% done in a week. Plus I wanted the girls input on some of the finishing touches and stuff. So uh, particularly like the animal area, there's a corner you'll see that where I'm gonna move to kind of have all of the animals in that area. We need to do some custom built-ins there for there to be a you know workable space for the different animal cages to go and things like that so there's still a lot to do um so this room i, I didn't want to make y'all wait till we finish that because it could be two months from now uh, by the time i get back in here and paint the baseboards and do the custom built-ins and you know finish everything so this is going to be a i would say 90 percent room reveal if you will So once the baseboards and trim and all of that were done, um, it was time to start bringing stuff in, putting together the beds. My sister, thank goodness, stayed late into the evening to help me get all of this done, to put their bedding on. Like I said, it's not perfect. I don't have completed bed sets and everything. And when I went to get the curtain rods, they only had three and there's four windows. So in the reveal, you will see that one of the windows is missing curtains. Those will be added very soon, so fear not. Everybody's okay. Everyone's surviving without that 
set of curtains, but you'll kind of get to see how we pulled things together. It's like I said, it is not by any means completely done, especially because, you know, I don't have their bookshelves with all their books and, you know, the finishing touches of the room. So that video will be coming hopefully sooner rather than later. It's not totally finished, but this was as much as I could get done in the week that they were gone. Okay, so let's have one quick look back at what the room looked like when we started, and then the not so grand, but semi-grand reveal. So y'all can see this is uh, the, you know, the bunny's little castle that they have. And this is going to be kind of the animal area, but we're going to build it up um, because as y'all can see, my daughters have tree frogs. They're hiding in that little coconut. So it's, it's kind of hard to, to see them. Uh, I tried to get a little close up so you could see, but they're in there, piled in there. They've got tree frogs, a lizard, all of that stuff. We replaced the light fixture in here. I don't know that we actually filmed that portion, but we replaced the fan. Uh, these curtains, I wanted to point these out because I absolutely love them. So the curtain rods are just from Target, but the curtains I got from Wayfair and they are uh, this like very heavy velvet, this like steel blue velvet. They were exactly, exactly what I was looking for. They are beautiful curtains. Um, the bedding came from Target. Uh, I like the kind of linen, the, the blue and white stripes and my daughter, crazy plant lady, just like me. So those are all of her indoor plants, though her indoor plants thrive and mine do not. So she's much better at that than I am. But yeah, like I said, it's kind of, you know, kind of looks a little crazy with the animals everywhere. But once we get things nice and pulled together and get their bookshelves back in here and the finishing touches, we have some cool pictures for the wall and stuff. I will do a final, final room tour if you will. I'll show you guys everything once it's like 100% complete, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see y'all again very soon. Bye.